Well, hello there. So, your FPS in the toilet, huh? Yeah, I can relate to that. Hey there, guys. I'm Zerger, and in this video, we'll be having a look at what we can do to get your FPS to be amazing. We'll start by all the stuff we can do outside of the game before launching, and then we'll move into the stuff we can do in-game to get maximum shiny shiny FPS. Okay, so first thing we need to check is your version of Java. This is of course on Windows, for those of you who don't know. Um, so let's go to our programs and features. This is just where you go to you know, uninstall your apps, so just make your way to the screen where you uninstall you know, different apps or whatever. So under here, let's just have a look what you have currently. So what we want is this. We want Java 864-bit. You should also have this one, Java JDK, if you play newer versions or if you're running a server. So if you see Java or just Java JDK, that is simply Java version 17 to 18. That's okay. Leave that one. Uh, it, it basically, um, Arrowcraft will automatically use you know Java 8 or the earlier versions. So just leave that one there. But if you have a different version on here that's not Java 8 64-bit, uninstall that one, download yourself Java 8 64-bit. And that is the first thing done. Second thing we need to check is your RAM usage. I'm using the Forge Launcher. So, boink, right here. So the way I set mine, obviously for those of you not using the Forge Launcher, you'll have to set this in your Java arguments. You need to specify you know, the amount of memory you use in there. But for those of you like me using Forge, we go down here to Settings, we click on Minecraft over here, and we just go down here. We have this little slider here. So the recommended RAM usage for RLCraft is anywhere from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. This has been recommended by da, 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 basically Reddit. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had a different source for a moment, but now it's just basically Reddit. You know, I've been um, searching all around, and basically what it boils down to is um, Java, like particularly this older version of Java, it doesn't know what to do once you give it more than eight gigs of RAM. Um, so it basically slows down your game. That's literally what happens. So never go more than eight gigs. I think you guys should be fine just by giving it six or even less. Um, I'll be showing you guys a mod later on that I use as well. You guys could even, like, your memory usage should be less than 4, to be honest, to play it. And it just, it runs pretty smooth. So, uh, yeah, just make sure your memory usage, once again, is between 4 and 8 somewhere. No more than that. Cool. Now, once we're out here, this launcher here, very important, this part. Um, this, as soon as you've launched your game, close this launcher. And also check down here in your system tray. Close down this fella, Overwolf. Overwolf always tries and runs in the background, but I found that for some reason it randomly spikes in resource use. So just close down Overwolf down there and the Forge Launcher, even if, if it doesn't close down automatically by itself. There you go. So those two kill the launcher, kill Overwolf. That's good. Less back stuff in the background, sucking up resources. Now let's get to the other things. Press good old Control Alt Delete. Let's go to Task Manager, and under here, we just have a look for anything else sucking up resources. You can just see here, high CPU and memory usage here. This is, of course, the game running in Java, but things you want to have a look for is stuff like, where is that guy? Looking for Chrome. Here we go. See Chrome? Um, just close that sucker down, obviously. It is a meme by now, the amount of memory it uses. So anything else that you see running in the background with high CPU or memory usage, just close them on down. I'm not sure what you guys have in your, you know, on your systems. So you might see other stuff in here that for some reason is using more CPU and memory for whatever reason. Just go ahead and close those down. Perfect. Now the next step is click under details. Now, we'll have a look at Java here. Should be running if you have the game running already. If not, launch the game, obviously press escape, then come back to this. Now you'll see Java there running at the top. Right click on this, go to set priority, and set it to either one of these two. Either high, or if there's nothing else running, set it to real time. This will make your system allocate all of the resources, basically, to Java itself. So everything will be dedicated to Java if you do this. You'll have to do this every single time that you launch the game, unfortunately, there's no way to set this automatically. 
But if you are like me using something else, because I'm currently recording, obviously. So I'm setting mine on high because I need some resources to go towards the recording. So I'm just leaving mine on high there. Perfecto. So that is that done. That's our Java, RAM, and the priority set. The very last thing that very few people know of is if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card like myself, down here in your system tray, you will see our settings there. Right click on that, go to NVIDIA control panel. Let's open this on up, eventually. So once this has opened up, go to here, manage 3D settings, and then you'll see this. Go to program settings, and then from here, click add. Obviously, mine is listed here already in this drop down menu, but yours shouldn't have this. If it does, then you don't need to do this, of course. But go under add here, and then look for it, should show Java in here. Well, mine's already in there, so I'm guessing it doesn't show. Uh, it should look like this. I'm not going to add it a second time. But once you've done that, you'll see all these wonderful little settings. Um, anisotropic filtering, obviously off, and the aliasing. Yeah, just set, just leave it on global settings because that means it'll use whatever settings you've got in game. But at the bottom here, if you use VSync, just set it on fast. And the main one is you want this guy here. See power management mode. Set that on maximum performance. Now the reason we do this, I probably should have said this first, is because Java is a program so a lot of times I'm not sure if they've updated this or not but NVIDIA um, doesn't actually recognize Java as a game so a lot of the times your GPU won't actually be running when you're running mod packs because uh, the NVIDIA software doesn't recognize Java as a game so it won't actually work when it's meant to so you, you, you don't get the usage from your graphics card so this is a cool little tip I found this very useful when I started doing this it uh, gave me massive improvements so maybe this will help for you guys as well but uh, yeah that is that part there done that's everything done outside of game let me just have a look at my little list that I've written down here Looks like everything is done. Yeah, that is cool. Now let's go back into game and see what we can do there. Okay, so now let's get to the in-game stuff that is going to be costing you mass of FPS. There's three or four of these ones, so let's do the first one. The first one is just go ahead and press F8. This should be the better foliage mod. Yeah, that's one. Better foliage mod. So just go ahead and switch it off here by clicking this, so it's set to false. And then underneath that, if you have got an NVIDIA GPU, just set this to true. Perfect. That's the first one. This thing absolutely sucks. Resources. The second one is go ahead and press P. This is fancy block particles. At the top right here, it should say disable. So just click that, and then yours should look like mine. Should show disable or disabled, should I say. There we go, lovely. And so those two already, yeah, they, they, they just absolutely suck resources for, you know, no real reason. It, I mean, it, it enhances the looks of the game, but unnecessary for the, you know, the cost. The other one is, um, this is basically down to uh, managing your expectations, really. Um, go down to options, go down to video settings. This is our render distance. Now, personally, I normally play with a render distance of 16 in vanilla, down to 12. Um, yeah, that's going to come massively way, way, way down <laughs> within the game. So you've got to set your render distance to 8 or less if you're playing with shaders. So you can see I'm playing with 7 because I'm in shaders. Um, when I'm actually playing, I set this to 6, which of course means I'm absolutely fucked when I walk into a dragon because I'm within range and he can see me very, very clearly. So set this down to 8. And then we go to done. You can always come back to that, by the way. If the FPS, after all this, if you see a massive improvement, you can slowly increase that as you play the game. So, you know, uh, no big deal. Let's just do this for now. The fourth one is Optifine. This is also a biggie. They're all biggies. These are four biggies. Let's go down to options, video settings, and performance. This is, of course, you need Optifine installed to do for this. <laughs> so my Optifine version, I'm using here Optifine HG G5 Ultra for whatever reason. And we go under performance, like I've said. In here, just copy all of these settings exactly. The only one you basically switch off is fast render because it don't worky. 
So everything on part from fast render. You can pause here, just copy these settings, but you know, it's pretty straightforward. Done, done, done. So that will already give you massive FPS improvements, just those ones. But in terms of video settings, we can still toy with. Let's see what else we have. Let's go under video again. Graphics, you set this to fast. Dynamic lights, this does make a difference, but I wouldn't switch this off if I was you guys, because this is what controls the uh, light sources in your hand. So I like, you know, running up and down stairs with a torch in my hand and it lights it up as you move. So that's up to you. I don't think it will make that much of a difference compared to the rest of it. The other thing is my um, frame rate, by the way, I play on VSync because I'm playing on a laptop. So um, I am capped at 60 FPS in any way because I've got a 60 megahertz screen. So for you guys, switch this to unlimited. That'll give you massive improvements if, uh, if you haven't done that already. So yeah, let me just eh, VSync. Cool. Um, let me see, what else have we got here? Let's go under quality. So in here, I would suggest mid map level, switch this to all the way off. And then these two will be pretty big. These two are biggest. Both of these off, uh, but this is anti-aliasing, switch that off. Anisotropic filtering off as well. These two will give you like, you know, they're, they're pretty bad for FPS. So yeah, switch those two off as well. Cool. That is, I believe most of the settings and all that stuff done. Now I'll be getting into the next department here, which is um, adding slash potentially removing some mods. Okay, so in terms of mods, I've only added two extra mods to the pack. The first one is censored ASM. All this one does is it optimizes the memory usage of the game. So if I were to press F3 here, you guys see on the top right hand side there, I've allocated seven and a half gigs of RAM, but my memory usage is only around two gig. That is thanks to censored ASM, I believe. There's also one built in already called Phosphor, which I wanted to download, but it looks like that's been added already. Right. The other thing is Entity Calling is a mod that I'm running as well, which all that does, I haven't noticed any significant improvement to be honest, but I, I would imagine that there's probably something I haven't noticed. Um, so entity calling, as you can imagine, it basically has something to do with the actual entities. Uh, so what it does is it stops entities from rendering that aren't in your line of sight. So by default, the game renders um, any mobs that are in front of your character, not behind your character. But with this mod, basically the mobs that aren't within your line of sight, saying behind blocks or underground, that sort of thing, you won't actually um, render them. So it just skips that rendering, which does make it a bit faster, which is always good to have. The last things I'm going to mention is things that I don't actually do, and that is removing or disabling some mod. So I've read that you can disable the chunk animator mod, which does take a lot. That should be, let's see. Da -da -da -da. This one here, not sure if you can actually disable it here or if you need to delete it out of your mods folder, but you can go ahead and do that if you want. Um, this is just a mod that makes the chunks, you know, the kind of rise and generate from the bottom kind of pop up, which I kind of like. So have not disabled this. And the other one, which apparently does make a massive difference is Coral Reef, this mod here. This just improves the quality of the oceans by adding, you know, little extras and stuff so on to the game. But it is apparently constantly running with, within every chunk because it's constantly scanning for water. So you can delete this as well if this, you know, doesn't really bother you. But personally, I'm not going to do that because I, uh, yeah, I feel like I want all the mods in the game because this is Arlcraft and I want to play it as is. And lastly, there is someone else who mentioned somewhere across Reddit somewhere that you can disable the actual uh, GUI for the um, the temperatures, you know, when you are freezing or overheating, that sort of thing. Apparently it, it takes uh, it takes a resource as well, but I'm not going to do that, like I said, because that is just, it's just too much. <laughs> I, I like that in the game that, that is, you know, it's part of our craft in my opinion. Perfect. Okay, guys, so I will leave the download links in description, well, not the, the descriptions, I will leave the download links in the descriptions, is what I meant to say, for the things that I've, you know, kind of mentioned and that I've kind of uh, gone over. Um, so yeah, you guys can go ahead and find those links in the video description. 
for the rest of you guys. I uh, yeah, I hope this video was helpful and that you, that you guys have gotten some improvement. Um, yeah, just go ahead, like, subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Zergus saying enjoy your game and happy RL crafting. Cheers. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>